Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be reacting to Roxanne and Alistair teams up in a has-been hotel. Alright guys, so as you all know, this is part two of the reaction. If you guys want to see your, the... You want to see, your, see the part one, it's in, it's in my channel, check it out. Without further ado guys, like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get on to the reaction. Box, but who is this box person, and why is the name alone making Alistair freak out? I'm not freaking out. Uh, I'm just... Uh, I hate this man. Uh, as much as I don't like to disagree with uh, the radio demon here, but the two of them haven't been getting along as much. I mean, yeah, he's been here longer than Vox, but Vox has been just showing up. And he's always just, you know, um, he just comes up and all of a sudden, like we were fine before, and then all of a sudden, TVs everywhere, screens, um, modern technology all over the place. And... Yeah, it's just going around so much modern propaganda, and like literally, he does not like it. I mean, I don't know your two's relationship, but I know for a fact you don't like him. I just don't understand it. Why do I have to see those stupid screens from Vox, Vox Tech when a simple radio could send a message so much simpler? Hold, hold, hold the phone. You're kidding me, right? What the hell is actually wrong with you, Alistair? You say you're this mm -hmm. high and mighty demon who has this crazy grasp of hell and its own oh, citizens. Oh, but I let, do. But you let things like modern technology get to your head? A, a flat screen TV of all things, really? It's That's not, what makes you tick? It's not just the, the TVs that are doing that, unfortunately, hon. It's everything that Vox does. Everything that Vox stands for. Like, hey, and um, if you uh, want to know something, um, I think Alistair over here, this one, he's just a little bit too old school for these TVs. Are you kidding me? I can understand you, you idiot. I can hear you just fine. And if I wanted to, I could understand this technology just fine as well. I just don't want to. <laughs> All right, toots. All I'm gonna say is that these flat screens have brought a lot of good attention towards myself, all right? <laughs> oh, whatever. It only got that way because you became Valentino's. Whoa, okay. Listen. You better listen up here, buddy. I'm not gonna go ahead here and stand here taking it when you're on a short leash as well. Okay, why? You, you know what? All I came here to do was literally to find Cassie. And now, apparently, I have to find my son, too, and go home. So, in order to do that, what do I need to do? All right. Well, if Vox really does have her, it's not going to be an easy mission. You see, Vox is a part of this corporation in hell called the V's, the rulers of Pentagram City. It's him, Valentino, and Velvet. Okay. Well, I, I have literally no idea what any of that means, but surely they can't be too hard to take out, right? I, I mean, I do have some pretty short claws. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Maybe I could use your help. And today could be the day that I finally rid Pentagram City of that vermin. Come on, come on! This is insane! Never have I had a minion take this long to do something. Just hurry up or move over, you stupid girl. I can finish it myself. So much for a prodigy. Wait, don't go. touch anything. You can go ahead and test the signal. It should be strong enough to reach as high as heaven now. Uh, finally, splendid. Uh, let me uh, give this a whirl. This better work. No. Yeah. Huh? Okay. It'll work. N I now swear. we're on to something. Uh, good girl. You just made Vox Tech the most powerful tool in all of hell. <laughs> Let's begin. Uh, uh, what is that? What, what's going on? Oh, don't you worry. <laughs> The process has Ow. just begun. What In 10 it? minutes, Vox Tech Enterprises will be invaded and invade all the heirs who inhabit heaven. No. It's about to no. have a new ruler. I need to get out of here. No. Uh, hey, hey. 
Come back! I need you for something. Wait, no, I don't actually need you anymore. You're just a kid. Ah, oh, you're done with your bra here to do. And soon there won't be anywhere for you to run. There won't be anywhere for anyone to run. I'll control them all. They'll bow before me as the ultimate overlord of hell. <laughs> <laughs> and there he goes. Um, do we really think it was a good idea to just let Gregory go back to the hotel himself? I think I should follow after him, just in case he needs a babysitter. Babysitter? No, and darling, this is not our fight. Well, we shouldn't be getting ourselves involved in this or the affairs of Voxtech and the V's. What? No, Roxanne and Gregory are friends of mine now, and I'm going to do what I can to protect them. Charlie, I'm going to have to forbid you from doing so. It's too dangerous. Plus, you're going to get yourself hurt. But what about them, my friends? You're just going to let them walk out there and face Vox alone? Mm, trust me, my sweet little devil. The first domino has already fallen. And soon, it's going to knock into the next one, Alistair. And from there, it's up to fate to decide what happens next. Oh my god, um, Cassie? Cassie? Gosh, I don't even know. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, what is that noise? Oh my god, that's awful. Oh, oh, okay. You know what? It's fine, Gregory. You've been through worse. Just push through it. You gotta find Cassie. Okay, Wait. where do I go? Where do I go? What do Cassie? I do? Cassie! Cassie? Gregory? Cassie! Oh, oh, oh my gosh. gosh, I've never been Cassie. so happy to see you. Oh. I've, oh. I've never been so happy here, to see you either. What are you um, doing here? I, um, oh, this is a whole big mess. Yeah, no, it's kind of a huge mess. Cassie, are, are you okay? What, what is going on? Um, well, okay. Uh, long story short, uh, essentially he wanted my dad originally, but then he couldn't get my dad because my dad is dead, and apparently he's in heaven and not in hell, so he got me because I'm good with technology, and... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm... I'm just really lightheaded after getting hypnotized by a TV man. Oh. What? Wait, 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 wait. Who is he? Uh, who is this TV man? Cassie, what are you talking about? Fox. Wait. Gregory, I, I have an idea. The, the TV man Vox has me boost the signal strength by a hundred times inside of his building, Vox Tech. We're in hell, so we usually wouldn't have service here. But now that it's strong enough to reach heaven, oh, you should be able to call people on your fast watch. Hey, you're right. My, my fast watch is on. Cassie, you're a genius. This is perfect. Okay, um, <laughs> Roxanne should be down here somewhere. I, I'm not even supposed to be here right now. She contacted that Alistair dude I was telling you about, and then somehow we both got teleported here, and it's a whole mess on our side as well. But if I can call Roxanne and figure out what's going on with her, maybe we can figure out a way to stop this. Um, just give perfect. me one second, okay? All right, I'll, I'll wait right here. Okay. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, and come on, Roxanne, come on. I know you're probably really confused getting a phone call right now, but. Uh, Gregory? Roxanne, hey, um, so I know we're, um, this is, uh, this is really weird. Look, I know we're both in, um, hell right now, and this doesn't really make sense that we're calling each other, but, um, look, I need to explain to you what's going on. I, I just ran into Cassie downtown, and uh, there's some TV man named Vox? I don't really know everything that's going on, but apparently he wants to boost his signal to hypnotize people in heaven or something, so I don't know what we're supposed to do, but maybe you can let someone know who would know what to do? Well, firstly, I am so thankful that you and Cassie are okay, and second, uh, it's, it's fine, sweetheart. If you and Cassie can just get somewhere safe, Mama will handle this. Yeah, um... Love you. Love you. Hey, well, uh, that was my son, and apparently this Vox is trying to take over heaven by using an insanely strong signal at some place called Vox Tech, and apparently he wants to boost his hypnotizing signal. Ah, uh, now he's definitely done it. You know what? We've been sitting here for far too long doing absolutely nothing. I'm out of here. Oh, uh, uh, mm, you know, fine, whatever. You know what? We don't need oh, God. This guy, I swear. Oh, God, 
Now we have to deal with the V's, and this guy's gone off doing a whole his whole own thing. And I, oh my God, why can't he just listen? Ugh. God, All right, you know what? This is going on with Valentino's going to my head, and if Alistair does anything with Vox, I don't know, like, what am I gonna? Look, Angel, I, I will be the first to say I don't fully understand the situation, but. I do understand that it seems like you are in an incredibly tough position. And I, I just want you to know, I, I guess, that I, I feel for you. And I'm here for you as much as I can be. I mean, you've helped me a lot these past couple of experiences uh, here. It's, it's, it's fine. I, I, mean, I mean, hey, what's another couple of agonizing torture weeks compared to just the average everyday torture. You know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Uh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Everything should be handled by Alistair. You know, as much as hard-headed he is, I think he's actually kind of it's kind of having a liking for you, actually. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's the fact that you don't have a soul. Hard to catch. <laughs> Wait, you think he's like in, into me? Uh, no, he's absolutely not my type. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. I, <laughs> you know, go be here with your son right now, all right? And get the hell out of here. I'm having feeling something crazy is about to go down, and I don't want you in this again. Sounds good. Uh, thank you again, Angel Dust, for everything. No, of course, sugar. Now, go be safe, all right? You too. That's it. Only 10% left to charge before we can broadcast this insanely strong signal to heaven. Not if I have anything to do about it. I'm going to destroy that stupid machine of yours. Wow! Ah! No! 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 Oh. You have no right to be here. You, you were banned from the presence of Vox Day ages ago. Oh my goodness, Vox, shut this insanity down. We've already had a target on our heads. I don't think we need another extermination day this year. Extermination? Oh, does a little mighty Alistair actually worried about his friends? Huh, I never thought I'd see the day. Oh, whatever. Just destroy this stupid thing. What are you doing? No. You aren't strong enough to beat me by yourself. You never have had the courage to face me alone. You're a weak, frail old man. But no one is going to save you this time, Alistair. You're wrong, Vox. I'm going to save him, his friend. Charlie, what are you doing? Oh, oh. my face, my, my beautiful face, my, my beautiful, beautiful face. Ah. Uh, I have had just about enough of you. It is time for you to finally pay for your crimes against hell. Oh, hold on a second there. Uh, we can talk about this, Alistair. Uh, wait, Alistair, stop. That, this isn't the way to deal with him. There has to be another way. A way that doesn't involve violence and murder. Please, Alistair. I didn't in your heart. Do it ah! for me. Ah! <laughs> oh, he's finally gone. Once and for all. What have you done? Your actions are going to throw all of hell into disarray. Oh, oh my god, what a crazy day. Uh, hey, hey. Hey. Um, where's Cassie? Oh, she's up. Uh, taking a shower right now and um hey she says thank you but also i just want to say thank you too for saving her from hell that's such a crazy um, sentence <laughs> yeah but at the same time it sounds like cassie did most of the work herself i mean i i kind of just sat in a bar all day and argued with a couple of demons and you know a typical sunday <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, but I'll be honest, Roxanne and 
In all honesty, this stuff is kind of terrifying when you really think about it. I mean, radio demons, hell, I mean, cannibal town, like, what the oh. Whoa. <laughs> Excuse me? A cannibal? What now? Oh, um, I guess you didn't hear about that. Look, that can be a story for another day, I guess. Hopefully we never have to okay. worry about Cannibal Town. <laughs> Hopefully not. What I am worried about, though, is some of the things that Angel Dust was telling me. Something about a, a group of powerful overlords called the V's. And I assumed with whatever happened, uh, I'm sure that isn't going to come back and bite us in the end. Well, there you have it, guys. That is Roxanne and Alistair teamed up has been at a has been hotel in VR chat. If you guys seem to be very angry, please appreciate if you just got to the channel. Like this video and leave a comment down in the country below. The original will be the link in the description. I appreciate you guys in the description. Well, with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, everyone.